Hello, my name is Raymond McLeod and I work with Westec Industrial Limited. I'm the Technical Services Lead. In a previous video, we looked at the technology operation and maintenance of the Quasar 900 Open Pad Gas Detection System. Today we're going to be looking a little bit on the wiring as well as the shielding and grounding and the reverse polarity protection of the unit itself. It's important to note that once you're wiring a detection system, it should be properly shielded and grounded. In some systems, the shield wire is connected at earth ground at the PLC and the other end of the shield is cut at the detection end. In this system, the Quasar 900, the shield wire should be connected to the detection system itself, the Quasar 900, and the other end of the shield cut away from the PLC. It is also important to note that the device itself is reverse polarity protected. What this means is this there's an arrow in wiring the positive and the negative voltages. There's no need to worry. Just rewire the system in accordance to the instructions in the manual. The system is supplied as a four-wire system. This means that you have a positive voltage and a negative or common to power the system. And then you have two wires for your 4 to 20. The positive voltage and the negative voltage should be isolated from the 4 to 20 wiring system. The Quasar 900 system, being supplied as a four-wire system, can also be configured as a three-wire system. What this means is that you have your positive voltage, your negative or common, and one wire leading back to your PLC as your 420. In configuring the system in this way, you have to put a jumper between terminal number one, that's the positive voltage, and terminal number three, so that the system powers the loop from the device itself. When wiring the Quasar 900 gas detection system, it's important to take note of the terminal designations. Terminal number one is for your positive voltage. Terminal number two is for the negative or the common. Terminal number three and four are for your current output uh, signals. Terminals five and six are your digital terminals, whereby 247 devices can be daisy chained in line and different addresses uh, assigned to each device. Once in normal operation, the Quasar 900 detection system will indicate a normal status by the tricolor LED flashing green. The output milliamp signal should be 4 milliamps. If for some reason the tricolor LED flashes yellow, this is an indication that there is a fault. The fault itself could be a misalignment, whereby the current output is 2.5 milliamps, or an obscuration, or what you call beam block, which the current output would be 2 milliamp. When there is gas present, the tricolor LED will flash red to indicate a low alarm level concentration of gas. When the LED is solid red, this indicates that a full alarm condition has been established. If the current output milliamp goes to 21, the status LED will remain constant or stationary at red, and the current output would be 21 milliamps. In a situation where a 1 milliamp signal is seen back at the PLC, this is an indication that there is a critical failure of the electronics. It is important to note also that when uh, zero is being done after installation and alignment, the device itself outputs a one milliamp signal to indicate that the zero is being done. 